is up? We're coming at you in the car right now because we are here at Vaughn's getting ready for a grocery haul, you guys. Late, late night grocery haul. Late night grocery haul, you guys. We are going to head into the store. We are going to start shopping. We've, and got, we've got one hour, you guys. We've got so one hour before they close. We're going to try to get as much as we can. <laughs> we are ready. Let's go in. You look like a ninja. Oh. All right, you guys, first grocery haul in the store with our mask. Let me know down below if you can read my lips. Wow, how about them apples? Look at those. Oh my gosh. You can't see me, but I'm smiling right now. <laughs> Sorry, but she was smiling if you couldn't tell. We smile with our eyes. Yes. Cart is filling up, and we're realizing that we are having to buy like double of all of the juices or drinks because we almost have to buy one for Ethan. Comment down below and let us know right now what your favorite juice or drink from the fridge that you just absolutely have to have inside of the fridge. All right, you guys, so we made it back home. I have not said that in a while because we don't usually go out to the store. We've been doing Instacart lately. I know. So. Kind of weird, but kind of nice, you guys. Actually, I'm gonna say evening time is the best time to go to the store. There was literally like nobody there. There was probably like, what would you say? Three or four other customers in there? Yeah, and I mentioned it in our video where we went to Target and I said the best time to go anywhere is about 30 to 45 minutes before they close. Yeah, it really is, especially right now when you're trying to kind of avoid people, kind of keep your distance and stuff. There was nobody there. Like we really didn't even have to worry about that. Yeah. So kind of awesome, but you guys, we made it. We got a lot of stuff to go Whoa. through. Whoa. Yeah, so much. <laughs> that reminded me of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Whoa. <laughs> Which, by the way, they are coming out with a new movie. Yes. So, same characters. I know. Keanu Reeves and the other dude. Ted, who's Bill and who's Ted? I forgot. Who is it? Bill is Keanu, right? Yeah. You don't know. I, don't, I, I just asked the question. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Let us know down below if you guys know. I'm going to watch it because I feel like I have to for like my childhood's sake. Yeah. You know, so anyways, okay, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys kind of the frozen foods first. You guys know the drill. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. Starting with firecracker Ooh. popsicles because it's 4th of July, guys. We got to have some firecracker popsicles. Well, that was on Ethan's list. So I, I sent a text to the kids earlier today and I'm like, pick five things. We're going grocery haul shopping and so pick five things that you want and it could be related to dinner snack whatever this is one of ethan's yes so this is one that ethan picked he likes these so there you go 12 pack of those then of course we had to get some butter milk what are these called waffles <laughs> Buttermilk, well, it's late, you guys. Yes, it is. It is late. So, buttermilk waffles, which, you guys, this is kind of nice. I've, I have been, like, making pretty good breakfasts for the kids. Um, but some mornings, I'm like, you know what? You need to make your own breakfast. And these are great for that because they can just pop it in the toaster or the microwave if you're Elijah and um, just eat them up. And so. they've got to be the buttermilk. The buttermilk home style, the home style is so bland. And you know what? We forgot syrup. I don't think we need any. Oh, okay. I think we have some. Okay. So anyways, buttermilk is the way to go on these ones. All right, you guys, we also got these popsicles. Ooh. Which, you guys, these are seriously. They're the best. They really are the best. Yes. They're sugar-free. Yeah, these are the sugar-free ones, and they, we can eat like one right after the I usually they're have so about three in a row. Yeah. They're like, really, no joke. really good. I don't love the orange ones, but I'll eat it still. But uh, I really like the red and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're so good. Kids like these ones. They're natural colors or natural sources, sugar-free, all the things. Except Ethan, and, and maybe he can detect the sugar-free because yeah. they they taste like regular popsicles to me. They do, yeah, they totally do. it. Ethan is not a fan of these, so he does not eat these, which is why he probably requested the other ones. Yes. So, anyways, this is great for summer days. Okay, so we also got some extra crunchy tater tots, just for like a quick, if I want to do like hot dogs or something, I'll couple that up with some tater tots. Or throw some cheese on top of those bad boys. Oh, always. 
Oh, you know what we should to. also do is chili, cheese, and tater tots. Oh, that would be good. Although wow. we didn't get any chili. No, they didn't have any. They didn't have any. Well, they had some, but they only had the ones with beans. No, and no, everyone no. does not like the ones with beans. Anyways, we'll do something fancy with this. Oh, we could do bacon bits on top too. Ooh. Yeah. So there's those. And then we also got some chicken nuggets. We don't usually buy chicken nuggets, like hardly ever, but. It's officially summer and the kids just want to get some chicken nuggets for lunch. Yeah, and it's a good quick, like throw it in the oven because microwave chicken nuggets are just cool. So I'll probably end up throwing these in the oven for the kids and call it good. Yeah. Not every day, most days. No. <laughs> no, okay. Not every day. <laughs> no, so anyways, we like the Tyson's chicken, it's good. There you go. We also got some El Monterrey beef, bean, and cheese flavor. Chimichangas! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Have we ever had those before? We usually get the blue box. We usually blue. get the blue ones, but I grabbed these ones this time. So we'll okay. see how the kids like it. It's basically all the same, except for it has cheese flavor in it. And I'm Ooh. like, the kids will probably really like that. So. Ashton got excited, why? I don't know, I just saw a bunch of food. <laughs> <laughs> growing up as maybe this was just me but like growing up as a kid when your parents went grocery shopping it was like the most exciting day oh it was <laughs> awesome You're like, oh, what food did you we get? get? except and now i get it as a parent my my mom would always be like you guys i just went shopping like chill don't eat everything yeah. Ch -ch chill people. yes yeah it's true but i do remember as a kid like i would come home from school and there would be groceries i'm like yes, yes. yeah <laughs> so there's those then, were these the ones you wanted? <laughs> so if you guys see Ashlyn in the background, she helps us during the grocery hauls. I'm so grateful. Putting stuff in the freezers, in the garage fridge, all of that good stuff. She's always kind of been like my little pony? helper. My little my pony? My little pony. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you guys been... haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. Yes, you guys. She's you gonna guys be coming up with- though. Yeah. Yeah, and she's gonna be coming up with another video when? Um. Monday. By I'm Monday of next. Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday, you guys. So stay tuned. So head on over there and subscribe to Ashlyn Phillips on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are wondering about my hand again, uh, I don't have anything on. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, we got her some pizza rolls. Ashlyn requested pizza rolls. As you guys know, we have not, not been getting this, these as much because these were kind of a Braden thing. Like, he loved the pizza rolls, but Ashlyn requested them, so we got yep. a little bag for her. All right, so next up, we got another request from Ashlyn, which is the berry mix, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Woo! Mm. It's the Ashlyn show right now. Colored pasta, this is always, always, always Elijah's request when we go to the store. He loves the Alfredo colored pasta. This has, um, oh yeah, this is like the mixed cheese tortellini is the real name of it, but they call it colored pasta, so. So good, what else would you guys add to the tortellini with Alfredo sauce? Yeah, cause we literally just pour homemade Alfredo sauce over this and the kids devour it. Yeah, the girl at the register was like, oh, maybe you can add like mushrooms and, so what would you add? I'm just curious. Definitely not mushrooms. I feel like you could add chicken to this. Oh, Shred there you go. Shred up some chicken and add that and just have like a chicken Alfredo. Yeah. Um, but this, these I tend to make just like as a quick, like throw it together. Kids love it. Love it. It's like one of their favorites. It's, it's honestly a house staple. So I do make that quite a bit. Okay, next up we got some Bubba Burgers, which we forgot hamburger buns. So we're gonna have to go back for that. Whoa, but. unless we do a protein style, which is not happening. <laughs> which I actually do like protein style, yeah. but yeah. This we are gonna cook on our new little uh, Captain Cook thing which will be awesome. I'm excited to see how those will turn out. So we got the burgers. Then we also got dun -dun -dun, mac and cheese. Even though Amberlynn has been making mac and cheese, um, the, the, the food hack one. Yeah. Yes. She actually made a couple mugs the other day uh -huh. and they were really good. Yeah, so I'm, really good. I'm curious even if she'll end up liking these, the taste anymore because the the mug mac and cheese is, it's it's, it's literally like, homemade. Yeah, it's So really good. it doesn't compare to the, the craft just doesn't compare to it. Yeah, it's really, really good. So craft mac and cheese, you guys, what do you add to yours? Some people add hot dogs. We add tuna fish sometimes. I feel like there's a variety of things you could probably do with it. Yeah, I add Doritos, Cheetos, oh, yeah. Fritos. Danny that likes his uh, crunch with his. So there's those, and then we also got, we're gonna just stick to the pasta and do 
the elbow macaroni, which I use a lot for goulash or Amberlynn uses for her mac and cheese, whatever. We, we usually try to always pick up some sort of pasta because it's easy. It's super easy. Okay, we also got our lazy salad. Ooh. Which you guys know, we love our lazy salad kits because they're just easy to throw together. So we got the Caesar salad. Caesar salad seems to be one of the salads everybody can agree on. Well, Caesar salad to me you have with pasta. Yes. And then like if you're having like a hamburger or something like that, then you have your iceberg lettuce. Like That's summer type salad. Yes. Yeah. So different salads for different things. I usually pick up the Caesar kit in these ones though. So there's those. And you guys check out Tina's shirt. You guys head on over to the website, pick up one of the original the PFB, the OG PFB shirts. You guys, they are awesome and they are available. We just got a new batch and in. They're so comfortable. Yes, you guys, so these are like American apparel, nice quality. Good, good quality. Wash up very nice. Yes. I love them. I, I could live in them, actually. So, okay, next up, we got cheese. What's up, cheese? Okay, so. We just got the Mexican style four cheese blend. We still have some cheese in the fridge, so I just grabbed an extra pack just because. I always like to have cheese on hand. Then we got some pickles, which yum. These are delicious. So just the, what is it, Vlasic? Is that how you say it? I, Vlasky? Vlasky? Oh, Vla I can't see. Vlasic? Oh, Vlasic, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, just a jar of pickles. I actually just like these just to snack on through the day. I love pickles, so, and I'll drink the pickle juice too. You. So good. Stinky breath. So good though. Okay, and then I also got, we also got some Pop-Tarts for Elijah had requested this. So we got the Frosted S'mores Pop-Tarts. Wow. Wow, you can really roll. So, eight in these bad boys, which I'm not a fan of Pop-Tarts. I don't know. Nah. Not a fan. Um. I, I would maybe have one if we were camping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it, I think when I was, I was a kid, I, I really liked them, but now I'm like, nah, not as good anymore to me. Okay, then we also got some Nutri-Grain bars because you know, Ashlyn loves Nutri-Grain bars and she's been doing soccer like crazy. So it's just like a good, quick, like eat and run type. Yeah, snack, hopefully so. all that fiber doesn't give her the runs. <laughs> It could. Uh, How much fiber do they have? In I don't know, but those are kind of like fiber snacks, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. Fiber, one gram. Oh, watch out. <laughs> one gram of fiber. Wow. Yeah. So there's those. And then we also got some cereal. So we got the Honey Bunches of Oats, Danny cereal. What? Uh, you guys, my absolute favorite cereal with just really cold milk. That is so good. This so one. good. In yeah. fact, I might have a bowl tonight. I'm not a cereal lover. So. I'm just trying to find better snacks, and so I find myself going in for chips and this and that, and I'm like, why not just have just one bowl of cereal? So One bowl of honey bunches of oats. Ooh, Whoa. Tina's tired. Damn, it's late, you guys. Oh. So, okay, then we got Fruit Loops for our other one. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh yeah, I grabbed some. Because <laughs> Emberlyn loves these too. So there's those, and then we also got cinnamon toast. Gross, <laughs> cinnamon. <laughs> Creepy cinnamon. <laughs> Oh my god. Creepy cinnamon, there you go. We got Elijah just lingering over here because he's waiting for a little snack. Why don't you come are on you over here, dude? Popsicles? I'm looking for more than just the popsicles. What are you looking for? Snacks. What uh, snacks? Um, multiple snacks. Okay, next up we also got, okay, we, I'm gonna go with canned stuff that we got. We got quite a bit, you guys. We did get quite a bit, and um, so, a lot of it's for like dinners and stuff and lunches, so. Do you even know how much you spent? What? <laughs> do you <laughs> even know? The guy was talking to me when we were doing it. I know, but still. So, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, we spent $287. Not horrible. No, that's not. That's actually not bad. Not at all. So, okay. Refried beans. Ooh. I want to make tostadas this week. I've got tostada shells in the pantry that I need to make. So, we got beans for that. I'm not even paying attention to you. You're such a boy. Okay, next up we've got the chicken noodle soup because it's just good to have. And we I feel like chicken noodle soup is like having medicine in the medicine cabinet. <laughs> 
It is really good when you're not feeling well. Yeah, we're not sure. we're fine, but I just feel like I just remember like uh, wanting soup. It was like a while ago, and like we didn't have any. Yeah. Or we had one progresso. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, you've got to stock up on soup. Just it's just one of those yeah, things. Yeah, just to have it in the pantry, ready to go if you ever need it. So. And soup, honestly, is, doesn't seem very appetizing during the summer because it's so stinking hot here. So we don't go through a lot of soup in the summer, but the like winter, fall months, I do enjoy a good bowl of soup. So, you know what I really love? It's like a soup. What? Menudo. Oh, yeah. You do oh, that. I love it. We haven't bought that for a while. I, you know what? I want to do a cook with me making my own, making menudo. Oh, that would actually be good. Yes. So let's try that. Okay. All right. Chicken with rice is the other soup that we got. Two cans of those. And then we got some beans for Ash or Emberlyn. She loves her beans. And these are actually a good little size for her. Yeah. We usually get the big family size and we have to end up saving half of it. So this will be just like a good. And we got the regular baked beans. And yes. we also got the baked beans with what? Bacon bits and extra sugar, extra brown sugar. Yes, baked beans with bacon and brown sugar. Wow. And then the country style, boom. So good. So good. And then two cans of green beans. Ooh. I love the can. I feel like I've said this before, but the canned green beans are like really the only kind of green beans I like. Yeah, and you add a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt, and you're good a to lot go. Of salt. Yeah. Okay, so next up we've got some beef broth, which I use a lot for different recipes, mainly goulash, but I like to have that on hand along with chicken broth. I like to have on hand, especially now with that new recipe that I just made over on Phillips Bam Bam Foodies. The kids love it, you guys. I made it again tonight. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go head on over to our Phillips Bam Bam Foodie um, channel. I made like a chicken parmesan, one pot rice thing. Long, long name. It's a long name, but it's delicious. And I've made it two nights in a row now because the kids loved it so much. So. Anyways, I stocked up on some chicken um, broth for that as well. And then we got some hot dog buns. And you guys know our grandma sick more bread. We haven't been making a ton of sandwiches lately, but we have been doing French toast. So we have been kind of going through a lot of bread lately. But there's those. And then um, just kind of our produce. We got tomatoes. We got cauliflower. We got... Okay. Oh race car somewhere, I don't know. Weird. Okay, we got iceberg lettuce and limes. And then we also got the green leaf lettuce just to make for like salads and stuff coming up. And then you guys, you guys saw these in the store, but we got our mega apples, boom. <laughs> Those are They're huge. They're so big. Wow. And they are more expensive, these Honeycrisp apples, but the honey crisp are the best. They are the best and I can cut one of these up for lunches and almost feeds all of the kids. So I'll just cut it up and everybody will grab at it. So they do they do kind of last. They go a long way. Okay, and then we also got some Driscoll strawberries which they do not look very good at all. Not very appetizing, but we're going to just have to eat them real fast. That was the best of the bunch. Yeah. So there's those. And then of course you guys know we go through a lot of cucumbers in our house. So we grabbed a bunch of those to actually go with our lime because we love it with the lime and salt. And then we also got some bananas. 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 So there's those. And then I also grabbed a thing of the butter lettuce for like um, wraps and stuff to make, like put some chicken in there, beef, whatever. Sounds like a good lunch or something coming up. So there's that. And then of course, you had to grab the on the border chips. Those are so good. So good. Danny will probably now right through these. Yum, yummy to my dummy. Yeah, so there's those. Okay, next up we got, we got the, uh, let's see. Udis. Udis, Udis gluten-free pizza crust, which, if you guys saw on over on Phillips Bam Bam Foodies when we made, oh no, it was on this channel. It was in a vlog. We made these pizzas and this crust is so good. It's amazing, it's you guys. It's so, so good. It's pretty pricey. I was thinking about it though. Like, it's not horrible because you get, it's $8 for a pack and there's two in, two in a pack. So you're basically playing, paying $4 for the pizza because the other ingredients yes. aren't expensive at all. You're paying $4 for one like... Homemade pizza. Which, which is enough, like one pizza is enough for... 
Oh yeah, you, you get, get a good four slice yeah, personal. Yeah, you get quite a bit. Yeah. So anyways, we grabbed three packs of these because we were so impressed with them when we tried them the first time. Really good, you guys. So there's that. And then we also grabbed some Mission Tortinas, which Ooh. I always I always have to cringe a little bit when we buy the regular tortillas now because I just like the like the ones you have to cook. The yeah. what is it? What is the it? fresca. Is it fresca? And yeah. there's also tortilla land. Uh-huh. Um, so we usually get the tortillas there at like Sam's Club or Costco that are uncooked, but um, we're all out and I'm like, oh, we're still gonna need tortillas, so we'll, we'll use those, whatever. Okay, and then we got two things of Simply Orange for some vitamin C up in here. Pulp free. Pulp free. Who's our pulp free lovers and who's our pulp lovers? Let us know Ooh. down below. So there's those and then eggs. Can never have too much eggs. We go through these actually quite a bit. So, yes. the thing of eggs, we still have some in the fridge too, so we should be stocked for a little bit. Then, of course, we got a box of chips just for the kids to snack on, and boom. <laughs> wow. The urge, should I do this one? Can you see it okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and decide. Okay, on the count of three, what which do we get? one are you picking? You have Ooh. salt and vinegar, cheddar, or the sour cream, um, honey barbecues, there's a lot. Spicy sweet chili, Dorito, Doritos. <laughs> Dorito, spicy nacho, Cheetos, cheddar, jalapeno, Cheetos, flaming hot, and bunions. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Bunions. <laughs> what? I wasn't sure if I should Dorito. say Doritos or spicy sweet chili. Oh, uh, either way. But yeah, Dorito, spicy sweet chili is what I'm going. Bunions, baby. Bunions all right, last but not least, we got a big old watermelon. We will see if this one tastes good because we never know until we open it up. So the last one we had, trash. Total trash. Total. Total trash. So let's hope this one is a little bit better. So yeah. that's it, right? That's it, you guys. And we are going to be doing a grocery haul giveaway. What? Let's go ahead and do all the groceries away let us know down below what's the worst part about grocery shopping Ooh. is it the shopping is it the loading into the car is it the unloading into the car or is it putting oh, it away oh man oh that's kind of crap yeah <laughs> i don't love any of it but it's okay Comment down below and let us know what you think is the worst about grocery shopping. Yes. Also, you guys, I want to do a giveaway. I want to do a $50 giveaway. Wow! Coming up, $50. Coming up this Dude. Sunday in the live, you guys. Boy. Okay, so what you guys are going to do to enter this giveaway, we are going to send you to another video, which is our wow. most recent upload on this channel. It is the getting started on a new extreme room makeover. Go into the comments. Make sure you watch the video. Go in the comments. Hashtag grocery haul giveaway. And Tell then, us your favorite part of the video, and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. And we will announce the winner this Sunday live here on YouTube. Yeah! So, you guys, that's it from us today. It is late. We are going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, choose your day.